So Noah's Heart will be released globally in a couple of weeks time or days time and I thought I should make a video explaining some basic things that we should all know as beginners in this game. It's kind of basic but not everyone knows this. <laughs> Jumping right into the video, the sixth thing you should know and the first question most players ask themselves is what class to choose from. In Noah's Heart you have four classes or four weapons. You have your Lancer or Pulham wielder, then you have your bow wielder, you have your dual blade wielder and you have your sword and shield wielder. Now you don't have to worry about choosing any of these classes and losing on the others because you can switch between classes quite easily in Noah and for no charge at all you just need to have their weapons. Now switching between genders that's a story for another video. Bruh. Up next is the settings. There are some basic settings in Noah that can actually help you and minimize the stress of playing this game because trust me you will need some of these settings just to explore and stuff. So I'll get right down to it. When you open this settings icon right there and you go to operations, the first one you want to change is this phantom ultimate CG. You want to make it to only first time daily. Keeping this at first time daily it's the best choice you can have right now because it's kind of obstructs you in pvp next will be your grapple hook aim assist just turn this on it will help you a lot and just point at whatever you want to control and you will do it next is your quick combo cast this will help you in pvp and pve as well and um yeah next will be your auto smart casting you want to keep this at auto smart casting especially if you use auto in pve it will help you there as well after that is your jetpack you want to keep this at press and hold this is basically your choice actually you can use it to tap to immediately just go all all the way or press and hold i, I use press and hold because it actually is more fun and it's helpful in exploration <laughs> next indoor sprint you want to turn this on as well or you, unless you like walking or you know walking slow more indoors <laughs> and finally we're gonna go to privacy settings now this is for those players that don't really want to be disturbed you can just keep this at open to guild members only if you don't want to be disturbed by other players or you want to keep your details private then if you go down and see guild login information you can choose that to be um, open to guild leader and vice leader and yeah just display yourself anonymously I'll, I'll show you guys now the difference opening the chart you can see view details right if i check that i can see almost everything about this player that guild and various other stuff their stats whatever they have now let's search for a player that has this turned on and you'll see the difference who who has it no this person doesn't have it turned on and yeah this person has it you, we can't find the view details right i also have it turned on on myself right now so i will show you guys i'll just show you guys it. i'll show you guys in the rankings let's go there to the rankings and arena and i am thought you see i'm shown as anonymous player and when you try to tap on me to check out my stuffs nothing <laughs> it's not a bug it's a settings in the game you can use this for your privacy if you want to just enjoy playing the game without being disturbed or spied on i don't know <laughs> anyway those are just some settings that you can be useful to you or for you while exploring in the planet noah honestly this jetpack one is one of my favorite and followed by the grappling hook i think they go quite well together because normally you have to press and hold to aim the grappling hook but with this you just gotta tap and you're good to go if you're falling instead of pressing and holding just tap you can save your life <laughs> yeah that's just, that's basically the difference i mean instead of the normal this with the aiming and whatever you don't have to go through this long process just tap and you're good to go make sure you aim at the right place guys and that'll be it for this section next will be about the maps to open one method is to tap the upper the planet icon at the upper right there and once you open your map you see at the left you have a lot of icons right there right now they all this will help you with your collection because uh, noah it's an entire planet and there's a lot to collect keep in mind that the insects the um, wild animals and the fruits and whatever they vary depending on the continent you are on and the location you're on so you can't find mango at some continents and you can't find mango at certain other continents that's just an example guys <laughs> don't just keep it to hard just keep note of that unlocking or to view all these things and rare monsters you can tap those eye icons that i'm tapping right now and you should be able to find it on the map if it's located there and the auto path should help you get there if you want to use it so yeah 
basically it's 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 not that complicated but it's still a little complicated i don't know man i'm gonna stop talking about this right now <laughs> next let's move on to matrixum challenges these are things you can find in the open world i would advise that you complete this challenge this as soon as you see them because coming back to search for them can be a hassle and completing each of them that they're not really that difficult there are some simple puzzles and some easy monsters to defeat you just do them and when you when you're done with it you get some nice rewards you get some diamonds that you can use to summon for phantoms and you get some other important stuffs as well after the matrixum challenges the next important thing in the open world is chests these these are stuffs you also need to take note of because uh searching for them it's kind of difficult chest also add to your adventure level just like matrix some challenges do and speaking about chests, there are different types of chests you have apart from your common exquisite and your grand chest you also have your hidden chest hidden chest being the one of the rarest is just moving around you can find a rock a large rock opening or lifting this large rock sometimes you can find uh rare insects <laughs> yeah that's a thing the other times you can find um chests under these rocks which i don't really understand the logic but yeah it, it works and there are certain other times you will find absolutely nothing under those rocks speaking of open world of course we have to talk about your teleportation ports or light pillars as they're called or as they were called in the beta <laughs> now you want to as well unlock this immediately you find them immediately you come across them or pass by them it's not really difficult to unlock it as long as you don't lag or make a mistake uh, with time and practice you will know how to do this quite easily with almost or if not always a hundred percent success rate you will be able to do this it's quite helpful to unlock this as it doesn't just add to your adventurous level it's also quite helpful because you will gain some nice rewards from unlocking this this world is huge guys like seriously so uh yeah this will be quite helpful for you in the long run and the last point of this video is subscribe to the channel if you want more tips, more ideas, more guides about Noah's Heart. I have made a few before but I will make more in the coming days and release these videos to help you guys when you're joining in Planet Noah. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel and leave your comments down below if you have any question about this game or any video you want me to make. Uh, just drop them down there. I read my comments. I'll reply to you. If necessary, I'll make a video if needed. Thank you again so much for watching and as always guys, I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.